Hey, what is going on guys? Rulinel here, coming back at you with more of the PIL and the image module. So, uh, next we're looking at the paste function. Now, the paste function, with the image object that we're working with, can paste into, well like, it can paste anything into a specific box. And we know about boxes, because I mean we worked with them in the crop function. And we had like... We had coordinates for um, the left, upper, right, and like lower pixel coordinates. It was a four tuple. So let's say mm, 80 in to the left, upper can be 20. Let's say we want uh, 160. Yeah, we'll just make that a 180. Okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> and then let's say. 200 for bottom. Now, anything can be like a color or another image, so let's actually say we want blue, and um, that'll return a new image, so let's go ahead and show that. I display that. Okay, none object does not have... Oh, oh, so it doesn't. It doesn't return anything, it just actually modifies the actual image. Is that right? Let's see. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> this is our funny-looking thing. The blue box just pasted onto our image. So, next, let's actually get our old friend, our lovable, famous thing that I miss so much. I should have named the file, like, Miss rather than Mess, because I miss it. I miss our mess. <laughs> and, um, that can be image 2. Now let's paste in that image 2 into that box, and let's see how funny this looks. Alright, images do not match. So, if the images do not match, let's see what... Uh, if a four-tuple is given, the size of the pasted image must match the size of that region. Okay, well, it's a good thing I had notes beside me. Yeah, that isn't going to work for us. <laughs> we can, of course, make something that is in this size though. So it's, I guess it's a good thing we covered that. You can paste actually another image into the image you're already working with, but it does have to be in the size of the coordinate, like box restraint. So that region has to be accessible. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not going to bother with that again. <laughs> that was embarrassing enough, but thank you for watching, guys. <laughs> um, you can also supply a mask for. Um, this one here, that might be another image, and I mean, you can tinker along with that all by your lonesome, and um, you can do that with the color as well, not even just the image. So, the paste function gives you a lot of options, but it's like slapping another face onto your image. So, do what you will. <laughs> Keep in mind, though, that this function doesn't return a new image. It actually modifies the original image in your memory. So, that's all, folks. <laughs> See you in the next tutorial.